Hi, this is Russell Stanar from teachertrainingvideos.com. If you're a teacher or a student, then you're really gonna find this video useful because I'm gonna show you a website that's got masses of material that we can use either in the classroom with our students, but students can work with alone. Now, I've just had to write a report on the content of this website, and so I really know it inside out, and it's worth just sitting back and watching the whole of this video because I'm gonna point out some amazing gems that we can come across on this website. It's got listening material and reading material and vocabulary and explanations and words in context and film reviews and stories and American history. It really is packed with material, both useful for students working on their own and for teachers uh, in the classroom. Hope you like the video. If you do, as always, please share it. Please like it. Please, if you've got any questions, then leave them in the comments box. I always do my best to try to answer the questions. And of course, sign up and join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get straight into the video. Now I'm going to start with the beginner level and a lot of this content can be useful for both teachers and for students. Whenever you're looking for the content in a particular section, click on these kind of grey areas here because it will take you right through to all of the content around that particular topic. And if we look at news words, for example, this is something I really like, which is where they take a word and they show you uh, a news clip with that word being used and then explain what the word means. And the great thing is, and if we quickly click here and just watch an example is that we also get the subtitles for that word as well and that really helps to kind of make the word clear great section and I love that because a lot of people do like to learn languages to try to read a newspaper or understand the news those of you that follow my work now I'm a big fan of where we can listen and read at the same time and one of the things in the beginner section is this ask a teacher and in fact we've got two kind of examples so if we got here for example close or near we can click on this version of it and we get uh, the listening with underneath the actual answer to the question written out in script form so you can listen to the answer and follow along or you have the alternative, if we quickly jump back, of seeing it without the script, just the listening. So that can be really nice. And if we jump back as well, just another really quick thing for teachers really, but they also have in the beginner level something called the day in photo. So these are really contemporary pictures that we could use in the classroom to introduce topics, to get discussions going. We could use them, of course, for descriptions, etc. And so most of the pictures are related to an issue or a topic of the day. And this could be great teaching resources for the classroom. Now, another thing that I really like at the intermediate level is this section called English in a Minute. And what this is, and again, the best thing to do is to access this through this kind of area here because it will bring you to all the content, is you can see that you get different words and phrases and expressions explained to you in English, presented by a teacher. And along with that, again, something that I really like English is the fact that we actually get American the subtitles. English has so really, really useful to help us. For me, it's something I really like when I learn a language to be able to hear and read the language at the same time. Now essentially, of course, Voice of America is really about news programs, contemporary issues, and in the intermediate level, we've got health and lifestyle, art and culture, science and technology. If we click here, for example, I was looking at this one about a robot. We've got the listening uh, story, and as, along with the story, again, we've got the tape script. So absolutely fantastic, that ability to listen to a contemporary news issue or topic of the day, and to be able to follow and read along at the same time. Now at the advanced level there's masses of material, again lots of news stories, but a couple of things that I really like, uh, first of all, what it takes, if you click on that section here, what you've got is interviews with people, and again we've got the scripts, now I was listening to one yesterday, if we just come down here, click on it here, listening to Bill Russell, and again what we've got here is the opportunity to listen 
my life to is the interview, and I, I really like working with interviews. Uh, but more importantly, or just as important, we've also got the script to work with as well. Again, great for students to work with on their own, but on their own, but also great for teachers to be able to use as content in a lesson. Now, one of the sections that I'm very impressed with, and I've been looking at a little bit, is this section down here that's called news literacy and basically it's helping students to understand things about fake news and trying to verify information etc so it's very informative and again it's great learning material and it's really nice to see a website trying to do something like that and that's really worth looking at something really that we need to work with uh, with intermediate students as well as with advanced students well worth looking at that section and well thought through if you like reading and listening, and I was listening to a couple of these yesterday, American Stories is very useful because what we've got here is actually short stories, and we can just click on an example here. And along with the story, of course, we've got the audio, is again, we've got the script of the whole story, so students can be listening to the story, following it as a video, but if they want also, again, they've got the script underneath. So absolutely fantastic resource for a student to work alone or for the teacher to use in the classroom with the students. Finally, those of you that know me and follow my work know I'm a big fan of history and it's great to see that they've got an American history section. If we click here, again, we've got um, loads and loads of great content. I was looking at this one here, the Louisiana Purchase. And if we scroll down in this one, we've got audio. We've also got quizzes. So once we've listened to it or we can read it, we've got both options or we can read the US and follow along. Expands well. And we can then click on the quiz and jump and try and answer the questions. Just put our answers in. If it's wrong, it's going to be in red. If it's correct, it's going to be in green. Great resource, loads of content here. And of course, for someone like myself who's a big history fan, this is a really interesting section. Okay, really hope that was useful. Masses of material there. Great for teachers who are doing private lessons. Great for students who want to work on their own. Great for teachers if you want to bring something contemporary into your class. If you want more material like this, more ideas around teaching, then please come to teachertrainingvideos.com. We've got a special section on language learning with loads and loads of videos showing you different websites and technologies that you can use to introduce into your teaching and learning. If you want to keep up with my work, well, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. That way you'll be updated with all the new videos, with the blog posts, with the webinars, with the online courses that I run and even where I might be presenting or giving a workshop. And the other thing that you can do is to sign up to my YouTube channel. I think we're up to more than 10,000 subscribers now. Don't forget to click on the bell and that way you'll be updated as new videos are put onto the YouTube channel. Finally, if you'd like to contact me either to come and do a presentation at your institution or organisation or to do a workshop, or if you want to do some online training, I have a number of people working with me at the moment, learning Moodle, learning Camtasia, learning to use Adobe Connect, then please contact me. I have a webinar system, so it's great for online teaching, and that can be one-to-one -one or one-to-a-group, and thank you very much.